Cammy J official. Welcome to my video. It's Cammy J official, so let's start the show. To my subscribers, listen, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. To anyone that is new here, welcome. I do natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you happen to like this video, I hope that you would consider giving it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, guys, so today is another tinted moisturizer review. If you're interested to see how well this performs and to get my overall thoughts on this tinted moisturizer, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. So we are starting with a fresh face. All I have done is wash my face, toned it, and then put on a little bit of moisturizer. And under my eyes, it does look a little bit red, but that is because I use color corrector. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that your girl has some pretty bad dark circles. But let's get into the product review. We have here the Huda Beauty Glowish multi Dew Vegan Skin Tint Foundation. Woo, a mouthful, okay? But this retails for $37 and it comes in 13 different shades. So quickly, I wanted to talk about the packaging. Of course, it's Huda Beauty, so you would expect nothing less than a beautiful looking package. And here is the actual product. It comes in a nice little sleek looking bottle in which you can see through and actually see the color of the tinted moisturizer. So this is the actual pump. And as you can see, it comes with like a nice little cute pump. So this is the way that you're going to actually have to apply it as well. So now to the application process, as you can see, I'm just taking the pump against my face and just using micro dots. Like those aren't even considered full pumps. There may be like a third of a full pump. So I'm using my Real Techniques foundation brush to blend that in. I am in the color 09 extra tan and to the right is just um, a picture showing you of what the website says this color should look like. So I wanted you to get a reference for that. But I'm blending it in to my skin. And I also wanted to show you how this looks if you were to try to build it up. Some tinted moisturizers, they look good even when you build them up with like another layer of coverage. So I definitely wanted to give you guys an example so you can see is this Huda Beauty glowish skin tint something that you would be able to layer up in the summertime and have it still look good. Now I had to go with this color extra tan because the other colors were either way too light or way too dark and red. So this is why I went with that color. But here I'm done blending that side and this is how it looks when you build up the coverage. And that's the side that doesn't have anything on it there. So just wanted to give you that example so you can, you know, form your opinion. But we are moving on to the other side. Again, I'm just using those micro dots like, again, not even full pumps, like Literally, when I'm telling y'all it's like a one third of a real pump, it's one third of a real pump because I did not want to pump out too much and overuse this product because it is a tinted moisturizer. But again, with that Real Techniques brush, I'm going to just gently push that into the skin and blend it. So I don't know about you guys, but I can already see the real big difference by using just a small amount of it versus using a double layer, trying to build it up like I did the other side. The other side definitely looks more heavy and not as natural, but that side looks very luminescent and very skin-like. So moving on to the rest of the application, I'm just going to take those micro pumps and begin to apply the skin tint on the rest of my face down the bridge of my nose and basically put it anywhere I feel like may need just a little bit more coverage from the first application. I will say using this Huda Beauty Glowish Skin Tint, you do want to use like the smallest amount of pumps possible because it does, you know, have okay coverage. Now for me, looking at this on camera, it, it is reading kind of like very ashy and not as warm um, as I typically would expect like tinted moisturizers to look based on you know the color description because it says that this is for like warm olive undertones and golden undertones but for me the color payoff is I mean I'm gonna just be like 100% honest I'm, I'm looking very ashy I'm looking very ashy here but of course you're going to be able to finesse this if you have the right products at home so you're you're going to be able to like de-ashify yourself as I have but again just keep that in mind the color payoff to me it just wasn't I don't know like 
as warm looking as I would expect from a, t a skin tint that says it's like for warm and golden undertones. But nevertheless, we're going to continue to blend this in to the best of our abilities, making sure that we can make, you know, the skin tint look as even as possible. So this is pretty much how everything looks blended so far. I have been able to successfully apply the skin tint all over my face. And again, I like the side that has less coverage or less building of the product on. But I'm going to be using my Maybelline Superstay Concealer. I opted to use this concealer and I often use this concealer when I'm using lightweight foundations or using any type of skin tints because it is a lighter weight concealer in and of itself so it's able to blend in really well but then it doesn't have like a super heavy look when you blend it in when using skin tint so i feel like the consistency of this concealer would match the skin tint very well so now i'm just going to blend this in under the eyes so i'm going to fast forward you through this part Now I'm going to apply that same concealer in all the areas on my face, which I like to highlight, which are the chin, the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, on top of the mouth. And then I'm going to proceed to blend that in as well. Looking at this on camera and looking how it reads, I mean, it's not looking like terrible, but again, I do like my skin tints to be a little bit warmer, especially if I'm going to try to use like a concealer color to highlight it but again we're, we're going to see we're going to see you know how we can make this work and at the end you know how well this skin tint really stands up All right, so this is the final look. I'm looking very jaundiced, but we are going to move on. So now I'm going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just going to use just a tiny bit of that on my brush to go ahead and set the areas in which I've laid down the concealer and the areas that I pretty much highlighted. I'm hoping, you know, that using the setting powder really helps to calm down the overly greasy look that is going on with my face right here. I will say I feel like adding the setting powder definitely helped a lot with like just toning down the overall look that was going on. I feel like it brought a little bit more balance to my face. But now that we've used our setting powder, I am going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color dark and i'm just going to use a little bit of that that is how much i'm using for my entire face guys i'm just going to use a little bit of that and i'm going to use it to set all the areas that did not have any concealer on it so i'm just going to again lightly set the face because y'all saw it wasn't it wasn't a lot on there but i am going to complete the rest of my look off camera and come back all right guys so this is it this is my finished face off camera i just went ahead and did some contouring some blush and finish my eye makeup y'all know the things that we normally do after we put on our foundation and our concealer so my final thoughts on the glowish by huda beauty is it's just okay it's it's really just an okay tinted moisturizer like last week i tried the lip bars just a tint tinted moisturizer that retails for 17 dollars and i like the performance of that a lot more than this huda beauty tinted moisturizer and i will tell you why i felt like this huda beauty tinted moisturizer it did blend in but for some reason i feel like it emphasized a lot more texture on my face than other complexion products have done for me in the past so when i've used other tinted moisturizers or when i've used other foundations i didn't feel like it brought through so much of my texture and of course texture is normal no one has perfect skin right so I felt like with the emphasis of the texture and then also the formulation, it was okay for me. It definitely is very glowish. Let me tell you, when I first put it on, I was like, whoa, we are glowing, okay? We are glowing. And of course, if you're going to buy something that has glowish as the first word, you better expect some glow. So if you are looking for something that is going to bring out that summertime glow, make you feel like you just ran on the beach for 45 minutes, you know, if you wanna have that sheen, that shine on your face, then yes, this Huda Beauty 
glowish tinted moisturizer will do that it does have a lot of glow to it now my thoughts on the level of glow that it has are if you are a person that has very oily skin then this tinted moisturizer might not be for you unless you are prepared to set it with a lot of powder and blot and reset throughout the day right because just as I was putting it on I was just like wow this is a lot of glow again the coverage is okay it is a tinted moisturizer so you're not going to get like high level coverage with this product you definitely should not be expecting to cover every blemish every mark every pimple every scar this is not that type of product being in the vein of a tinted moisturizer so would I recommend you purchase this Huda Beauty glowish tinted moisturizer I'm gonna be honest y'all I'm just gonna be 100% honest no you can honestly skip like you can honestly skip and pass on this tinted moisturizer because there are other ones out there that you can try right now this summer is 2021 it's a summer of tints okay it's a summer of tinted moisturizers everybody and their grandmother is dropping a tinted moisturizer guys but comment below and let me know what you thought about this glowish by huda beauty tinted moisturizer do you think that you're going to be going out and purchasing this for the summer or do you feel like you want to find more affordable and different options i would love to hear from you in the comments but guys thank you so much for joining me i hope you like this video and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and then hitting the notification bell so that way you know whenever i post more videos but thank you for joining me stay safe stay blessed and I will see you guys in the next video bye